Welcome to Poseidon Tech. For today we have something a little bit different. We have a smart circuit breaker and two smart switches. All of them can be DIN rail mounted. Let's check the smart circuit breaker first. Nothing special in the package. And this is the smart switch. There are two options, with and without power metering. 63 amps maximum. Supports remote control, metering, countdown, timing, and loop mode. Same for this one. So let's unbox it. Okay, this is the actual device and some paper. Let's open the second one. It's identical, but as you can see, this one does not support power metering. All the other functionalities are the same. And this one is the smart circuit breaker. It turn on and off like this. It has this neutral line in and line out. You can test it via this small button. This is the smart circuit breaker, this is the smart switch without power metering and this is the smart switch with power metering. What makes this device interesting? is that can be controlled via Smart Life app, so it means that there are two year compatible. So let's make all the necessary connection and test it in our testing board. We have connected the Smart Circuit Breaker line in and line out, the same for our Smart Switches, neutral and line, and here is the output, which controls these two LEDs. Let's power it on. After we power it on, as you can see, we can control it as a normal circuit break and switch. We can turn it on. The same for the circuit breaker. Now let's connect the device to this socket, which is controlled by the circuit breaker in order to measure the power consumption. Now it's time to add devices to the Smart Life app. First, let's open the application. And as you can see, the device has been already discovered. Let's press Add, enter the information for the Wi-Fi network and press Done. And as you can see, the device has been started to add to the application. After some seconds, it is ready. Very quick and easy. OK, let's press Done then. And as you can see, our device appears here in the list with all devices. From here, we can control our devices, turn it on or off. When it's on, the button turns to green. Let's go through some settings now. First, the circuit breaker. As you can see here, we have some information about the power consumption. We can control the actual circuit breaker and give some basic information about voltage, current and power. Under the timer, some basic configuration, and the most important here under the settings, we can configure the thresholds for over voltage, over current, and also some actions. What will happen if we exceed this threshold? Here are the options for the actions shut down, alarm, or trip. some advanced settings. If we press the pencil in the upper right corner, we go to some additional settings. We can configure the device information, add it to Alexa, share the device, and many other.
Let's go now to another device, to the smart switch with metering. As you can see here, we can control also the relay on off. We get information about the total power consumption per day, the power, the voltage, some statistics. Also per day, per month, and per year. Under the timer, we can configure some schedules. It's very nice to see that we have option for sunrise and sunset. And under the settings, some additional more settings. Countdown, relay status, light mode. If we press the pencil in the upper right corner, similar settings like the other device. Device information, third party control, share device, create groups, add to home screen. Now the third device is similar to the previous one since it is a smart switch. Similar settings, but this time we cannot measure the power consumption. All the other settings and controls are the same. Ok, now it's time to see what is the big benefit of having this device compatible with Tuya. Let's go to Home Assistant. Under the settings, Devices and Services. In the Tuya Cloud. As you can see our devices appear here. We have control, the devices and also some sensors, as it is expected, for the total energy consumption. Very easy and straightforward integration to Home Assistant. Unfortunately for the rail switch with metering, we don't have sensor available in the Home Assistant. But probably this is gonna be fixed on a later software update. The great advantage of having a sensor for the energy is that we can use it on the energy dashboard. If we go to dashboards, energy, individual devices, we can measure the power consumption of an individual device. As you can see, the sensor appears here. So we can configure it as an individual device. And this will appear on the energy dashboard. We really like these ATLA devices. Their great benefit is that they are Tuya compatible and very easy to use. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel.